St. Louis has hosted many immigrants and refugees over the past decades, and the Immigrant and Refugee Women's Program was created to help some of our new citizens adjust to living in America. Here with me today are Pat Joshu and Sarah Paradoski of the Immigrant and Refugee Women's Program. Welcome, both of you. Thank you so much for coming, Pat and Sarah. Thank you. So the Immigrant and Refugee Women's Program has, was started about how long ago? In 95. So 1995. So not that long ago, really. Almost 20 years. Almost. I guess it seems like a long time. <laughs> but, but we've had immigrants coming to St. Louis for, for centuries. Yes. So uh, tell us about the need right now for we have many more that are more visible in our community. What is the need uh, to help these people adjust? Um, so we have in our program definitely have seen that there are more and more immigrant and refugees coming to St. Louis mm -hmm. and in our program last year in the past year we've had students from 106 or 160 students from 40 different countries okay so that's a wide quite range. diverse yeah so you guys exist to help these women and their families adjust to living in America, living in St. Louis, that kind of thing. Finding jobs, I assume. Yeah, it, we look at each woman and what her goals are. So mm -hmm. for the first thing, it's going to be English. Okay. And for some, maybe they have English skills, mm -hmm. but they have never been literate, they've never been to school. So what we do with our volunteers is work on whatever their goal is. Okay. So that being one part of it, um, but just learning how to, we do practical living skills, so learning how to shop at a grocery mm -hmm. store when they're from an area that's used to open markets, mm -hmm. you know, but then it's fun to take them to Soulard yeah, right. and, you know, let them explore that. But just all the cultural differences yeah. that there are and helping them understand that as women, now, you know, you do have certain rights. Right. And, life is just a little bit different and there's a lot more opportunity. Yeah, I mean, I think it's wonderful. I can imagine going to live in another country and not, not having somebody hold my hand through it and, and teach me the process. So it's wonderful that we have that opportunity here. And so, Sarah, tell us a little bit about the volunteers and how they work with your clients. Sure, so we have, our volunteers are also quite diverse. And what they are doing is they're going into the home of their student. So our students are not able to get out of the home to join a class in the community. Because? It can be for, there's a number of reasons. They're home with children. They uh, do not have transportation. They have crazy job schedules. Mm. A multitude of things that are keeping them isolated in their homes and not really able to join the community and mm -hmm. get comfortable. So our volunteers are special because they are going to go to their house two times a week for an hour and work with them one-on-one -on, -one on mm -hmm. English and life skills. And we provide all the materials and lesson plans training for that. So they don't have to have been a teacher, but maybe they always wanted to teach or they just mm -hmm. want to have that special connection with someone and learn about a different culture. Yeah, and, and how long does a volunteer people. work then with the, with the clients? It just depends on the volunteer and the client. So um, some of our students will be in our program, you know, on average a couple years, but we're working towards their goals. Mm -hmm. So, which are really wanting to uh, help their kids in school, wanting to be able to communicate, get a job or improve their job skills. We go to so many different ends. So when they've reached a goal, they might move on, but, uh, volunteers are able to work with that student as long as they're yeah. able. So the volunteer can make, isn't necessarily making a two-year commitment to work with this client, but most I would imagine once they get involved, they want to stay with that client. We've had, we've had college students that have come to us and say, you know, I just went for one semester. Okay. And, you know, we, we asked for that much time yeah. um, just for the student to be able to get used to sure. it. And one in particular, that was that was all she was going to do, and she was with us over two years. Oh, so she stuck around when she got involved. <laughs> all right, we're going to uh, take a quick break right now. When we come back, we're going to hear more about what you all are doing this fall and some special events that we can help support your activities. So stay with us at STL TV Live. We'll be back with more after this break.